Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap youtube channel and in today's video we will learn how to create sqlite database in android okay first of all you can see that we have created a simple android studio project and in the previous video of this series we learn what is sqlite database and in this video we will learn how you can create a database inside your android phone so you can see that we have created a simple android studio project i will cre create a class java class so i will type here right click on my package name new and java class and i will i'm going to name this class my db helper the reason why i the reason why i have created this separate class because we will need this class uh, we, we need this database at multiple activities so if i will create this class i will not need to type all my code multiple times we can create an object of this class at any activity easily and we can uh, use our database in any of the activity so here first of all i have created a simple class named my db helper and i will type here extends sqlite open helper so now you have to click on this bulb icon and uh, press on implement methods it is showing me two methods first method is on kit method and second method is on upgrade method you have to select both of the methods and press ok button we will learn in the upcoming minutes or in the upcoming videos what are the purpose of these methods so just press ok button and again you can see that uh, it is giving me, me an error because we don't have create the constructor yet so first of all we have to create the constructor for our class so create on create constructor and select the first one and press ok button so you you can see that our error have been removed and uh, it have created a constructor for me with four parameters but we don't need these four parameters so i'm going to remove these remaining three parameters uh, because i will declare my database name inside this class the factory value would be null because uh, we don't need this factory at this time and this is our database version so i will declare my database version in a variable in this class so that's why we don't need these uh, four parameters so now i have to create a variable variable of private static final and variable type would be string and here i will type that my variable name database underscore name is equal to contacts press semicolon at the end and here at this point we have to type our database name so i have created a variable database names and i have stored a value contacts inside my database name so this is my database name so just i have to type these uh, database name the reason why i have why i have created a separate variable because we will we have to use our database name in the multiple places inside my this uh, class so we will don't need to uh, change uh, write this word again and again we can use this variable easily and second we have to type the factory name so i have typed a null word here and at last we have to type our database version so i have to type here private static final int and uh, database underscore version is equal to one semicolon the reason why these variables are private because i don't want to let these variable use in any other class and the reason these variables have static type because uh, we will not need to create an object of this variable to use this variable and finally because i have used a final word before my variable because this value of this variable will be final you cannot modify this variable and finally i have just used a string type represents that uh, the value which will be stored in our variable will be of string type and uh, that's it and at this place finally we have to type database version database version so guys we have created a class and we have created our database and in the next video we will learn how we can create tables inside our uh, using inside the sqlite and we will also learn what are the, the purpose of these two methods on create and on upgrade and in the next upcoming videos we will also learn how we can store data inside those tables how we can retrieve data from those tables and how we can update and delete delete uh, that data from those tables so guys the upcoming videos are also very important i suggest you to watch all the series to learn the basic concepts of sqlite so by watching these all the videos you will learn sqlite in android studio so guys i hope you must enjoy this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer question and please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos and finally thanks for watching